30 days ago, I started a brand new YouTube Shorts channel from scratch and in just a few days, I gained over 13,000 views. And in this video, I am sharing everything I did and the exact strategy I followed to create shorts for the first 30 days that allowed me to grow my channel quickly and easily. And I urge you to stay around till the end because the last step is crucial and most people are unable to grow on YouTube because they tend to ignore it. The first thing I did was find a niche. If you skip this step, don't be surprised if your channel doesn't get views. YouTube pushes content that people care about and having a set niche allows you to easily create such content instead of randomly shooting in the dark. My favorite way of finding viral niches is to scroll on YouTube in incognito mode. When you do that, Google shows you what's popular right now and not just videos that cater to your specific interests. Grab a pen and paper and write down at least four or five niches that are pushed to you most often. For me, it was travel, basketball, football, and overall sports. From here, you want to pick a niche that resonates the most with you. Something that you find interesting and have some knowledge in. For me, that was travel. But travel in itself is quite a broad niche. So we need to narrow it down further. For this, I will do some research by searching for travel specific content on YouTube. You can see that there are so many videos with millions of views, but can we create content in the same niche? Nope, it's not advisable to start creating content in a niche that has too many competitors. That will make your growth much harder. A better idea is to look for gaps in the niche you want to create it. For instance, I can see that most of the high quality travel videos are made by travel creators and the faceless channels mostly create travel montages with very subpar b-rolls and texts. So this is an area I can capture if I can create voice based faceless travel videos that are super high quality. It also helps that I only found one strong competitor in this space. So this is the niche that I'm going ahead with. With that finalized, next I need to come up with video ideas that will increase my chances of going viral. A super easy way to do this is to again search YouTube for topics that are trending in your niche. It is slightly time consuming but it gives you a good understanding of the kind of videos you can create. Another thing you can do is look at other channels in your niche. They don't have to be exactly like yours and see which topics have done well for them in the past month or so. After doing some research, I saw that since it was winter season at the time, videos around winter travel were performing really well. And that was something I could easily create my shorts on. So my idea for the first video was going to be to create a short about the best winter locations to visit in 2023. Now with our idea ready, Let's get down to finally creating our video. But I don't really want to script, edit, or record the voiceover for the shorts. So I found an AI tool that actually does all of this for me. I just have to type in a prompt and it will create a full YouTube short for me. Let's try it out. Start by going to ai.invideo.io and in the window that pops up, you will write your prompt. So here I'm gonna write, create a 30 second long YouTube short about the best places to visit before winter ends. American male voiceover. Now go ahead and click on generate and in video will ask you to choose your target audience and the look and feel for your short and of course the platform which in this case is YouTube shorts. After that when you click on continue in just a few minutes in video will generate your first draft. Let's take a look. Caught in winter's embrace? Fear not adventure awaits. Traverse the snow blanketed slopes of Aspen Colorado for some heart pounding skiing action or swap skies for skates in New York City's iconic Central Park. I think the American male voiceover doesn't really fit here, so I'm gonna use the command box to type change the voiceover to American female. Let's see how it sounds now. Caught in winter's embrace? Fear not, adventure awaits. Traverse the snow-blanketed slopes of Aspen, Colorado for some heart-pounding skiing action or swap skies. Isn't that so much better? Now I will tell it to simplify the words used in the script because we want the short to appear to a broader audience, meaning there does not need to be a language barrier. Again, we are going to use the command box for this. And once you click generate, stuck in the cold of winter, don't worry, fun is just around the corner. Slide down the snowy hills of Aspen, Colorado for some exciting skiing fun or change skis for ice skates in New York City's famous Central Park. It does all of that without me having to do anything. Now, if you want to make specific changes to the video, you can do that by clicking on this edit option right below the canvas. This opens up a pop-up window where you can change the stock media used in the video, or you can choose to change the script if you want to rewrite something. I want to change the outro of the short, so I will finish it with a question that can get viewers to comment on the short. Now, once I click apply, NVIDIA AI will do everything for me. And with that, our final shot is ready. Let's see how it looks. A sky show that'll make you gasp. Would you visit these places one day? Awesome. Now simply click on export to export the video. You can get started with NVIDIA AI for free, but 
this means you will have a watermark in your video. So if you're serious about growing your channel, I would recommend that you get on that paid plan that starts at just $20 a month, which is the one that I have. Now I posted this short once it was exported and over the next two days, I posted two more shorts with the same concept. On day four, I saw that the channel wasn't really getting much views. And after analyzing what was wrong, I saw that the swipe ratio was really bad. Swipe ratio shows the percentage of people who swiped on your video when they saw it in their feed. It should always be less than the view ratio. If your swipe ratio is bad, it means that your hook is bad. So I decided to go ahead and change my strategy for the hooks in my videos and decided to use question or statement hooks. This basically means that you start the video with a strong statement or question that stops people from scrolling away. So one idea I tried was asking people this question in the hook. If you could go to any of these places for free, where would you go? I also optimized the outro to remind them of the question. Then when I checked the results again on day five, they had exceeded my expectations. So I continued with this concept for the next few weeks, posting videos with strong hooks and outros and then check the results again around day 18. I could see that the views fluctuated a little bit. The swipe ratio was good for some videos, but bad for others. So I decided to tweak the strategy a little bit more and create video hooks that induced FOMO or fear of missing out by including big claims or numbers in them. So for instance, instead of just asking where they would go for free, I asked something like, where would you go if you had a million dollars? I wasn't surprised when I saw the videos that used this strategy gained a lot more views than any other video before. The video using this strategy passed over 8,000 views and the swipe ratio was so much better. After 30 days, the channel gained around 14,000 views. Now it might not seem like a lot, but remember that this was a completely new channel with no content posted before. And in just one month, we not only surpassed 10,000 views, but also managed to figure out the exact strategy that is going to help us grow. For most people, it takes months or even years. And this finally brings us to the last step, one that most people ignore. And that is trial and error. You cannot expect to create a perfect channel from the very first try, which means you need to test out what content works for you. Here's an example of what I did. First, I started posting basic shorts that just showcase top five destinations. Then I switched to having more engaging hooks. I was still sharing listicles, but I started with questions or statements that intrigued viewers. I would say something like, if you could go to only one of these places for free, where would you go? And they performed better than the previous shorts. But then I added even more intensity to these hooks by including big numbers in the questions, as you can see here. For a $1 million, would you sleep for a night on any of these places? Or where are you going for $1 million? That is how I found out that these challenging videos perform the best. And when you're starting your own brand new channel, you need to do the same. Figure out your starting strategy and then create videos to test your hypotheses. Keep going till you find the perfect combination of strategies that work for you. I am soon going to be sharing results of 60 days of posting these shorts consistently on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and turn on the notifications because the results are going to blow your mind. Also, let me know what kind of channel I should try creating next. And also check out these videos next to figure out what other viral niches you can create content in so you can start to monetize your own faceless YouTube shorts channel.